everybody! My name's Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Pitfall The Lost Expedition! Last episode, we made it to the Scorpion Temple after dealing with Puska! But more importantly, St. Clair! And now, there we see a scorpion. Oh boy, this looks way too familiar. Let's do it. <laughs> Not as cute as the baby monkey. Nope. This looks. Ugh. I don't want to be okay, scorpion. So now I'm a scorpion. Yep. Now you're a scorpion. It's weird hearing his voice come out of the scorpion. <laughs> yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> interesting little tutorial. Very interesting way to do battle here. So yeah, Harry's whole purpose here is to um, light all the torches here, and that activates a door. Oh, good lord. How do I... What the heck? I can't see! What the heck? I think I was running to the door there or something. I'm not gonna make it in time, am I? Uh-oh. I did miss! Dang it! I didn't have enough time. That is really shitty. I can't tell if it's B or A. Uh oh I can't, I can't. <laughs> it's just yeah, interesting how he uses the shield there. Okay, it is B to attack. Okay, I want to make sure. For some reason, I thought it would be A. Okay, so yeah, the whole point of Harry here. Oh, great, put me into a corner. Great, that is going to be fantastic. Am I stuck? Okay, no, I'm not good. Phew, that would have been unfortunate. So yeah, as I've been trying to say, what Harry's trying to accomplish here is light all the torches, because that opens the door. What we're trying to do is stop him. Oops, that is not where he was. And he does a dance, which is stupid, but <laughs> it gets harder. Um, surprisingly, I don't know, that's the door again, isn't it? Surprisingly, this is the easiest, I think, of the four um, animal temples. Well, technically second easiest, but, like, just, it's the easiest. Just, just, just trust me on that. <laughs> um, so... It's not really that hard. It can be annoying, but you're never really... Oh, no! He's going to escape! Actually, I think he has escaped a few times, but... <laughs> it, it's pretty easy to keep track of him. Yeah, see, he'll start running now, which does make it a bit more difficult, and... Now he's dancing. Or he stops his dancing, I think, eventually as well, which also makes it a bit more challenging. I think freaking trying to make sure you don't get around... Hit the door by accident is the most challenging part. Come on! Yeah, there we go. It's weird that he pulls out a shield. You'd think he would do a smash, but I guess that would be unfortunate for me, wouldn't it? Because that would actually kill me. <laughs> Alright, it's cool. There's stars on here. Alright, it's good to guess where he's going to go to. Is that going to get him? Yeah, it is. Cool, and he's right by the wall, too. I guess that's the easiest thing to do if he's, like, at a torch that's right by the wall. Uh, maybe this is a bit harder than I remember being. Oh, yeah, light that same torch, Pitfall Harry. Yeah, see, he's running a lot more. I don't think he's gonna dance. Yeah, he's not dancing anymore. He's like, okay, this shit is cereal! Oh, I thought that would get him. Kinda gotta play the guessing game a little bit here. Be very careful to make sure he doesn't get all the torches. Alright. Hmm, see, there probably would have been just more better if I just went to the. Oh, he's going back to that one. Dang it, didn't expect that. So as long as they don't get all the torches. Oh, maybe only needs to get a few. That would be unfortunate. Okay, let's let's play a bit of catch up here. There we go. You ain't touching these torches, girl! You gonna run this one? No, of course not. Come on, run to this one. <gasps> yes, perfect. Oh, I wasn't even running to light that one either. Perfect. I think that's gonna be game. Unless he gets out of this quicker. I feel like he does get out of this quicker. There we go. Perfect! Still can be pretty challenging if you get unlucky. Light torches to escape. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't hint enough that, you know, evil Harry, Scorpion Harry was trying to get out. Oh, look at that. I only need to light three. So maybe he only did need to light three. Kind of want to light all of them. <laughs> Let's light all of them. It won't take long. Nope. Well, unless I do that. Unless I do all that junk. I think I'll lit them all. I wonder if he's like make a shape or something, because they are positioned in a weird area. It'd be cool if they made Scorpio's a constellation, right? 
It'd be cool if they made like Scorpio the Constellation or something like that. I would not be too surprised either, considering like there does seem to be like an unusual uh, setup of the torches. Here we go, the second key. Because <sighs> Nikki thought they were actually the second of four. Actually, if you take a look at her book here, see on the right there, those four uh, round tokens. That, those are actually the tokens we've been collecting. So that's our second one. So. We're halfway through the game, you guys! Yay! Actually, we're probably more than halfway through the game. Which is crazy, because we're on part, what, 12, 13, something like that? I think it's 13. So, short game. Unfortunately, a really short game. Although it feels long. Well, not really. But <laughs> it feels like we're making a lot of progress, though, doesn't it? Which I guess we are. So, yeah, that's what I was talking about with the glowy glows around the door. Last time we saw that was with the monkey temple. The difference being, I blocked the monkey temple and said the way forward! Dang it. Did not want to jump on here. At least the eyes of doom are closed still. The eyes of doom! <laughs> so stupid. Alright. Well, on the plus side, I only had to climb up these blocks. I don't have to swing across. The mountain overlook. The mountain overlook. Right, back into the snowy mountains. Got her jacket on. Harry just knows when it's getting cool. It's weird coming out of a volcano into like a snowy area. Nicole! So happy. What are you doing up here? I'm looking for wild orchids. A wild orchid named Kevin McAllister? Bittenbinder told me everything. You're here looking for your deadbeat dad. He was no deadbeat. Oh yeah? Then where is he? Why'd he put himself in harm's way when his first responsibility was to his family? You don't know what you're talking about. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, my dad was a loser too. Nothing you've said has made me feel better, Harry. I'm leaving. Nikki! That's what my dad called me. You don't know me well enough to call me that. There's something I've got to tell you. What? What I said? I'm sorry. Listen, if he's alive, I'll find him. I've been following his trail. I think there are more clues in that temple east of here, but I can't get in. I'll do it. I don't know the meaning of the word can't. Then you'll probably need this. Hey, St. Clair's still prowling around. I had a run-in with him and his guide, Puska. I think that guy's some kind of shaman. You wouldn't believe what I saw him do. Really? Wait for me here. Uh-uh. I'm not stopping till I get in that temple. Think you can keep up with me? Hmm. Any day now. Whoa, did you guys see that? I think there was a single... I think it was right around that time that Nicole started to fall for me. And who could blame her? It was pretty obvious when she gave me her prized pickaxes. I'd promised to help her find her father, so I headed off to explore the snowy mountains. The mission gets personal. I'm pretty sure there's a single frame there of, like, someone floating in the air. It looked like Harry or something. I'm gonna slow that down, unless there was nothing there. I'll still slow it down anyways and replay here. See, look at that! There was either absolutely nothing there or there was. <laughs> You receive the pickaxes. You can now climb up crystalline walls, equip them, uh, and then jump at a climbable wall. When you're latched on, use control stick and C stick to control your movement. Native game unlocked pickaxe race! Oh, I remember that being kind of hard. Whoa, no! I just want to get a good snowy look. <laughs> a good snowy look. Alright, let's get a look here. Cool, there's like a little. Oh, is that the temple to the east they're talking about? Which way? Which way does this mountain overlook? Over sea. It goes west. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Unless, oh, you know what? This is the temple they're talking about. The Penguin Temple. Oh no! Another temple! Penguin Temple is actually the most difficult one in my opinion. Oh, that's cool. Well, interesting how this map appears to be reversed. Oh, that's cool! I never realized when Nikki says the temple east of here, it's just, that's, that's what she's got to be referring to. I feel like we just go down there and climb up the mountain. I mean, we did just get pickaxes, right? And make everything a lot quicker. <laughs> Still, even so, this, this area is just beautiful. 
So nice to look at. I never did just, I never did just, you know, stop and look at it and wow, I just like repeated myself twice there. Um. <clears throat> Alright, so now I have the pickaxes. Do two things here. We could spin the C stick and we could do a cool spin attack. But if we do, actually if we do it too long. He's gonna hear me mash my control stick. Holy crap, I'm going crazy! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Press A rapidly to shake off that dizziness. Yeah, you get dizzy. Holy crap, that was awesome! I did not know you go all crazy like that. So yeah. Um the control stick controls the left hand, C stick controls the right hand. So it is a bit weird. How do you get in there? Huh. Oh no, you know what? I might need the super sling for that. Well, I regret not getting the super sling now. No! Pull it out. Wow, I technically had five items out there. That's crazy. Oh, nice! I'm really happy that worked. <laughs> that would have been highly unfortunate. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does. That's awesome. Okay. That saves us time. We got the idol! We just like... No, just, can we do a cool dive jump to the other side? Nope! But we can cut off a lot of time here. Yeah, you can climb the snow, even though I had my pickaxe and just snow there. But it just counted as the crystalline walls. So you can't climb up like solid rock surfaces. You can only like, climb up very obvious like crystalline walls or ice walls. That kind of stuff. Mm, interesting how that opened up again. Alright, let's take a look here and make sure we're not going to be missing anything. Because that would be unfortunate. Mm, okay, good. Nothing going to be there. Good. Uh, oh, there's a shaman in there somewhere. I don't know where he is. Hmm. The cavern teleports. Actually, that's where we're going to be going next. Our first teleport of the game. Oh yeah. So he's in that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm totally going to fall to my death. And then I did fall to my death. That's good. That's always a good thing. The crystal cavern. I have to figure out where the shaman is. Maybe he's up a wall he can climb up with the pickaxe. I don't actually know. I'm not just like hamming it up as I do sometimes. Hmm. Let's go pull out our torch again. Torch torch. I don't remember seeing much for crystalline walls though. Uh. Oh, there's a lantern. I was like, what is that red thing looming on the side of the screen? <laughs> I want to make this jump. Uh, I almost feel like he's... Oh. oh, I heard a sparkle sparkle, but it wasn't. It's a... Uh, the idol, that's not the, the shaman. For some reason, I had the urge to like, jump down one of these holes and pray that he was in there, but I don't think he's in one of those. Because we know where the idol is, but I don't see any other like you know area where he might be, you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to see if this does anything to use. Oh, it does kill him. Cool. I mean, it's not really that useful. You might as well just ground smash. But I guess if you don't have the ground smash by this point in the game, it, it's useful. Can I jump up there? I cannot. Alas. I could do no such thing. Can I jump up here? No, it's not going to let me. Dang it! Whoa! Wow, I was running on air there. Well, I guess I'm not going to spend too much time in here. I've already done that. Wasted a lot of time in here. So let's just move on for now. We'll be back. We need to come back for the idol anyways, so we'll just come back for the shaman. We might not even have enough idols to buy anything anyway, so whatever. We'll just ignore it for now. Unless we come across them now, which which I'm kinda secretly hoping for. <laughs> <coughs> What's this? Is this the exit? The abandoned cavern. Oh this place. Wait, this isn't where the shaman is, is it? I don't think I, I kind of just. Okay, he isn't here. Okay, I was gonna say I kind of maybe remember him being here, but I wasn't sure. Oh god, it's gonna be annoying coming back here later, but whatever. Well, we need to come back here anyways for the dynamite. That's right. Mm. Whoa, no touchy! Don't you dare touch me! Uh, I guess what's up there? Oh, that's a porcupine box. That like white, that very bright brown glowy thing. Oh boy. Feels nice to be able to see what I'm doing for once. Uh, oh, we need to grab onto that rope, don't we? Yeah, that'd be the quickest way still to get back. Whee! 
Okay, oops, gotta slide down. Um, since I did turn my TV brightness down a little bit, it is a bit hard to see where I'm going here. Oh, okay, that kind of scared me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make it! No! But then I made it. The end. Oh, the boxes are still broken. Interesting, interesting, indubitably. Uh, I need to get back some way. Alright. Oh no, that's farther than it looks. I'm glad I didn't land on that ledge. Because you can't go back the way you came because unfortunately... Ah! That ladder's still broken. <laughs> no one's come to fix it yet. The ladder repairman hasn't been in the freaking South American desert. Or desert. South American jungle. I saw a big puff of steam coming out. I was like, what is that? And then, oh yeah, there's a steam machine for no reason. So right now there's these lanterns on these posts. It's like, why are these here? <laughs> See, like, right there, the red lantern. I don't know, it just looked weird to me. Alright, up here we go. Oh, good lord! Alright, now... Uh, yeah! So, I don't know if there's actually another way to get up there, but that's the way I always go up. <clears throat> we are past 50 minutes here, but... I do want to go make it to the um, teleport there, show you guys what that is. Or should I leave it as a mystery for you guys to watch the next episode? Nah, I'm mean, but I'm not that mean. Oh no! Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> I was like on the other side of the thing there. You know, the thing that you guys very clearly saw. You know. Alright. Oh yeah, then we need to wait for it over here. Oh no, we don't. We can go this way. Oh, good lord, I can't see. I can't see. Ah! Oh, luck. Or skill, you guys decide. Ooh. It's skill. Trust me, I'm very skilled in the arts of the pitfalls. Oh. <laughs> I say as I hit my head and can't get up this very easy ledge. I always seem to have trouble getting up this ledge for some reason. Don't know why. It's a thing. Alright. Over yonder. Don't know why I keep saying yonder. That's been a thing for like months. It's really obnoxious. Oh yeah, the bats leave you alone for some reason. Oh no, they don't. <laughs> oh, they do. Weird. It's weird that they go to the go to like the length of showing you that, but um, they never they, they go to the length of showing you that they, they tell or they come at you like that, but they never really attack you when you're up there. Anyways, this is the teleport to mountain teleport. That sounds helpful. <laughs> so cool. Harry's like, he's just loving it. He's like, oh my god, that's awesome. So yeah, these are the teleport pads. Um, go to the White Valley here. I believe on each of these. Yeah. Blow them up. Blow them up, Harry! Got a TNT. Yeah! And see, now we're pretty much exactly where we need to be. Well, not exactly, but we're a lot closer. Um, let's go back, because there's more teleports! Yay! Uh, where's this one lead? I think there's actually only one more, to jungle teleport. Yeah, I think there is only three teleports, it's weird, because, yes, there's a rule of threes, but in this game, it often seems to be the rule of fours. Well, and by that, I mean the, just, pretty much just tokens. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of healing water in each of these. Yeah, to the cavern teleport, so, uh, there's only three teleports. Jungle, cavern, and snow. Oh yeah, there's also four map areas. The mountains, the jungle, the native territory. Um, what's the other one? The, ca the caverns, the jungle territory, the native territory, and with the mountains. Yeah. Whoa, gotta watch out for a lot of TNT. And yeah, there's a turtle monument. The native village being right there. So yeah, we're back over here now. So too bad we're going to the icy snowy snow snows. So let's we'll, well actually we'll hang out in here. This is probably my favorite teleport because it's all green and stuff. I love green areas. I love jungle areas are definitely like my favorites in games. Well, we're oops, I didn't want to close that. We're really far off to the left there. We're like on the edge of the world. Uh, no, I don't want the map. I want the notes, the journal. Two more entries, unless this one. Okay, this one's this one's accurate. January 25th, 1935, 3.10 p.m. Not again. After making it through the creepy eyeball room, I came across a scorpion. No problem. I figured just squash him like a bug. But then 
Bing bang boom! Suddenly I'm switched bodies with them, and now I'm the creepy bug scuttling across the walls. Gross! Yeah, pretty much my opinion too. So I managed to get my body back from the spirit guardian again, and that is definitely not a pleasant experience. But at least I found another one of those these artifacts. I'm starting to get quite the collection. Wonder what Nicole would think. Okay, now I'm wondering why I'm wondering what Nicole would think. Shake it off, big guy. Focus, let's get back to work. Aw, he's falling in love. Entry 19, January 25th, 1935. 3.15 p.m. Speak of the devil. Just ran to Nicole. I was expecting more of a cold shoulder treatment, especially since we were on a freezing mountainside, but that didn't happen this time. Instead, I ran off my big fat mouth and told her what I think of her dad, McAllister. Stupid, stupid. Clearly all this is wearing pretty heavily on her, <clears throat> and it was all she could... Do to keep it together, and when I attacked her like that, she just couldn't take it. Completely broke down. So what could I do? I promised I'd help her find him. Didn't really go to the fact that. Didn't really go into the fact that after six months lost in the jungle, so chances aren't good. But no reason to bring him down. Bring her. To bring her down even more. And in fact, her spirits seemed to lift a little. She gave me a, some pickaxes and said that she was following her dad's trail, which led deeper into the mountains. Then with renewed strength. And I, w and I think a wink, <laughs> exclamation mark in um, brackets, she took off looking for him again. Maybe I was trying to see a little of the real Nicole. So anyway, I guess I'll head off into the mountains with these pickaxes and see what I can see. That was the end, right? Yeah, it was the end. Okay. Uh, hence, didn't mean to do that again. Uh, nothing new in the bestiary inventory. Oh, there's only one more item, you guys. That's crazy. Pickaxe. When on a clam ball, I'll use blah 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 blah. Controls Harry's left and right hand. When standing still, spin C to begin the spin attack. These babies are specifically designed to pierce the crystalline walls I've been finding all throughout this, this region. Whenever I see that diamond pattern on the wall, I know I can climb it with these. Plus, they make for a handy weapon if I can keep it under control. Yeah, they're not really that good of a weapon. Uh, nothing for the heroic handbook. Yeah, hey, nope. I haven't seen a shaman forever either. Hmm, how many... So we found we only have ten idols too, so I can't even buy very much. Probably buy the super sling next, because there's probably things I need to hit with those. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we will head back into the snowy snowstorm mountains and head or make our way towards the penguin temple. Oh boy, not looking forward to that. Talk to you guys later.